Minneapolis city leaders have several new policies in the works to help those struggling with homelessness. And these new plans come as an encampment that has now been cleared three different times as set up in a fourth location. Take a look at this map on your screen. These are where the previous encampments have been located in South Minneapolis. In the first, was cleared out January 4th and overnight they found another spot this time along East 28th Street just east of Abbott Northwestern Hospital. Now some of the city council are trying a different approach. Yeah, Richard Reeve live tonight from City Hall to tell us about their plans. Rich. Yeah, Kevin, as you say, that encampment has moved four separate times, but now council member Jason Chavez says he is looking for solutions. The new encampment, surrounded by a chain-link fence, is here along East 28th Street in South Minneapolis. I get a text at work today from another neighbor who says, oh, you've got new neighbors and sends me a picture. And I'm like, what? Rand, who's lived in the neighborhood since 1991, is not happy. And why are you concerned? Uh, there's safety issue, issues, there's health issues. There's the issues related to their long-term best interests. This is the fourth location for Camp Ninusaki in the last month. Three others cleared by the city because of health and safety issues, including 911 calls for property damage, theft, and concern about campfires. It's very clear that this merry-go-round isn't actually doing anything to solve the issue that we have right now. But Ninth Ward Council Member Jason Chavez says this block-to-block eviction-to-eviction process isn't leading to a permanent housing solution for anyone. He and other members are proposing that the city look into round-the-clock outdoor spaces like these being used in Denver. A safe outdoor space that can have security, um, public health measures to actually make the situation better rather than making it worse. Another idea is to try to get more funding for a second Avivo village. The current facility houses about 100 people, each with their own secured tiny home, inside a larger building along with mental health and other services. We need to start holding the city accountable for these evictions. Where are the people supposed to go? Encampment organizers and their supporters say more options are needed for safe, stable housing and for healing spaces. Some dignified housing is what we need. Jasper Becker works nearby. Well, I would say that the answer for both housed and unhoused neighbors is to give them a space to be and it would make everybody feel safer and everybody feel calmer. And Chavez and his colleagues are also looking at a proposed ordinance which he calls a humane encampment response policy. They may be talking about all of this in the committee and city council this coming week. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 